Hi, it's Sam. In this video, we will be looking at exploratory graph in the EDA, exploratory data analysis. So let's open the R Studio first. Okay, we'll look at the second session, which is exploratory graphs. Okay. This lesson will discuss the graphs that are important tools for data scientists and uh, special roles uh, for the exploratory graph in this uh, analytics field. Okay, which of the following would not be a good reason to use graph in data science? <laughs> I think the last one, to find a color that best match the shirt I'm wearing. Oh, it will be difficult to find any color to match my shirt. Huh? Okay, which of the following glitches capture the essence of the graph? So, to error is human to forgive, diving. Picture is worth than 1,000 words. Yeah, in the fourth one, the picture is worth more than 1,000 words. Okay, we use exploratory graph to get a gross understanding of the data. Instead of looking at uh, uh, summaries of the data uh, set, for example, first quantile, medium, mean, third quantile. So it then did good that we plot these few critical uh, measures in a box plot, which makes uh, more intuitive. So box plot is a representation of um, quantiles information of the numeric fields. So this is about the exploratory graph. Okay. So we will be using a data set here mentioned from the U.S. Environment Protection Agency. So it's about air quality standard. Okay, and use our function head to see the first few entry of the pollution. Okay, the data set's name. So let's have a look at the solution. Okay, had pollution. So yeah, PM 2.5 and flips region longitude attitude. So this is the data uh, set we have. At least one country exceeding the EPA standard of 12 micrograms. So which one exceed 12? So this this country exceed the 12s. Uh, PM 2.5 limit. These are the data set from the US countryside, uh, different states in the US. Okay, see how long the table is. Let's... The dimension here is we have 576 states or countries, and there are five uh, variables, five columns. Our summary which give it a five number summary. Okay, let's have a look at our summary. Quick summary, function, pollution 2.5. Okay, so PM 2.5 is a numeric field. So for numeric field, we'll be able to use the summary function to have a minimum value, first quantile, which is 25%, medium 50%, mean value, average value, 75% and the maximum value we have is 18. 18 is a far more uh, exceeding the 12 uh, national limit of the US. Okay. You know, in addition to the five numbers, we see the mean average across these 500 countries. Half the measured country have a pollution level less than or equal to which number? So 50% of the country is less than the median value. So it's testing you the median. So median. 
Okay, so not like that. Try now argument to the quanta. So how the result looks like the result output somewhere. Quantile is 0% which is the minimum, 25% the first quantile, 50% quantile, median, and uh, third quantile, and uh, 100 which is the maximum. Quantile PP. Quantile PPN. Quantile gives the quantiles. It doesn't give the mean value, the average value. So the first one, average value is not there. So now we go into a little bit exciting thing. So we'll plot a picture, uh, specifically a box plot. The color equal to blue. Do you still recall how to do that? How to do that? So let's have a look. Okay. Okay, so this is the command to use this box plot. Box plot. Right, the ppm, that's the variable, and the color, we put it to blue. So we see the blue. So this is the 50% quantile, this is 25%, the, this one is the 30% quantile. Oh, 75% horizontal line inside the box represent okay horizontal line inside the box present this line what is this line you see the medium 50% okay now it's Talk about whiskers of the box, the vertical lines extending above and below the box. What are these lines? This line and this line. So what are these two lines? So it's a range. It's a uh, 1.5 times the interquantile range. Interquantile range is the 25% to the 75%. So in between around uh, 12 and 8 so 12 and 8 so 12 minus 8 equals to 4 so the interquantile range is around 4 so we times 1.5 so it's about 6 so it says the difference between the 7th and the 25th quantile in this case the difference is 2.8 it's not 4 it's 2.8 so whisker are drawn to be length of bridge 2.8 times 1.5 so the the lower limit is the 25 percentiles value minus 1.5 times 2.8 you get this value then you draw this line and the above the the upper whisker is the value of the 75 percent quantile time uh, plus the 1.5 times 2.8 you'll get around 15 so you draw this line so yeah any data points uh, why we need to use the whisker is any data points sits beyond the range in between these two whiskers we can somehow consider them as outlier so this is one way to use box plot to identify outliers Okay. Our command a line a equal to twelve. Okay, we add a line to twelve. <coughs> okay. Now one more line is being added here using the AB line function. So this line lies at the value of twelve. Twelve is the national standard of uh, PPM PM two point five. So what do you think this command did? So draw a horizontal line at 12. Draw a horizontal line at 12. Draw a horizontal line. 
Y and draw <coughs> histogram to another function, specify the color to green. This will plot the histogram of the data. Okay, we have a look. So histogram PPM color equal to green. So this is the distribution of PPM. We see that the medium of all the countries around 10 to 11, 10 to 11 to 12. This is the medium. It's somehow normally distributed. The distribution of how many countries fall into each bucket of measurement. Bucket of measurement is these are the bucket. What are the most frequent pollution counts? So it should be here between 9 to 12. 9 to 12. So these three columns yeah, between 9 to 12. With the argument PPM. Our commander right with the argument PPM. Okay. This one dimension plot with its grid scale representation. So this shows the density of the, the data points in this uh, data set is the countries, how many countries is in the range of the PPM. So it shows the density of the tick marks that greatest concentration of the country has the PPM value between 9 to 12 micrograms per cubic. So around this area. Okay. Okay, this is a low value. Low value. Now look at the high value. The value is between 16 to 18. Okay, verify. So a few of the high values here, a few of the high va uh, low values here. So these are the two uh, tails that uh, low and high uh, vectors being extracted. <clears throat> okay. Return three again. So histogram PPM color equal to green, breaks equal to one hundred. Very simple. So we have more beans. We have more beans, more granular, uh, granular beans in the histogram by providing the breaks argument. Okay. The buckets to split the data into the stars in the sky. The country. See. Yeah. Let's work the argument TPM. Okay, so this is the density to be plotted to add on to this uh, histogram. Oh, it's pretty smart. Yeah. Even you do not provide any uh, breaks, or, uh, those optional arguments are can still plot pretty nicely. PPM equal to green. Okay, let's. Look at that PPM column green. So these are the beams that is automatically decided by the R, which is quite uh, sensible. Run the command the AB line with the argument equal to 12. Line with, uh, okay, you see the LWD, which is a line with. Okay, so this is the command that we use. So AB line means add. A line vertically the value equals to 12 at uh, and the line width equal to 2 so at the value of 12 
So this is a national standard. We can see how many of the country is actually lower than the national standard and some of the countries uh, pollution is higher than the uh, national standard. Okay, now change some colors. We change this color, medium ppm, uh, color, and we say different width. So this is a medium. So medium ppm is around 10 point something. Right? Earlier we used the summary to see. So half of the country is lower than the median, half of the country is higher than the median. And this black line is the national standard. Well, Like the PM 2.5, we also look at other information. Names with the pollution at the Arctic. So let's have a look at the columns. Okay, we have PM 2.5 and a few more variables or call features. Store the result into red. Let's see. Okay, they use a table function, pollution region. So let's have a look at right. they use a table function. So there are 444 countries belong to the region of east and 134 belongs to the west. Okay. Next one, they ask us to use the bar plot. We show the bar plot. So how many countries in the east? More than 400. The country in the west is around more than 100. That will be more than 100. What do you think the argument main specify? We have seen this before, right? the title of the graph. For the standard R plot package, main means uh, title. So we've seen several examples of one dimensional graph. So an overlay one dimensional plot with R package such as lattice and the GP plot provide two dimension. Some graphs has more than two dimensionals, they include overlay or multiple two-dimensional plots. Yeah, three-dimensional is a little bit tricky to plot. Yeah. Together. Now we still use the base plotting. Display multiple box plot. We simply specify that we want to see the pollution data as a function of the region. Ah, blah blah blah, each of the countries break into two regions. Okay. Okay. Depends on X region since both came from the same data we can specify argument of pollution. Call box plot now is this argument. Okay, so <clears throat> so first we'll provide the data which is equal to the pollution y2x pm 2.5 in this case depends on the region okay so we plot the value of pm 2.5 but we want to break by the region so break by the region so we'll see now so the PM2.5 is now split into two and we use the box plot to plot it and the box color should be red. So this is what this command uh, shows. Okay, our command bar. Okay. We add some effects to it using the power parameter. This is to split the, the graphs. So let's see next. We set the plot window for two rows and one columns. Two rows and one columns. This is a row equal to two 
one. So two rows, one column. Two rows, one column. The mar argument set up the margins. So this set up the margins. The margins for the four corners. Okay. So now we say yeast is a subset of pollution where the region equal to east. Okay, let's have a look at the east. So this is the east. Everything is about east. Region all equal to east. Now, so east holds more information than we need. We just want to plot a histogram of PM 2.5. Call histogram on the PM of the east at the first argument and the color equal to green as its second. Okay. So this is the plot that you see. So there will be two rows. This is the first graph appear on the first row. So the graph itself is now split into two. So there is a split into two. So so we are plotting the first one. Plot the histogram of country from the west. Just use one R command. And blah, blah, let's see how we do it. Okay, histogram subset region to west dollar pm color green. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. Okay, earlier we defined a east data frame, which is a subset of the pollution data set. And in the second graph, the, we just use one command subset in the same command line. So the um, label is different. The, the label is different. Because we do not have a separate west uh, uh, data set. We don't have. Okay. So again, we call this argument. We'll call it plot from inside our command, which evaluate your based of our knowledge. Copy this and allow those to avoid tag inclusion. Okay. With pollution, plot latitude P2.5. Okay. Notice that the first argument is plotted along the x axis, the second one along the y axis, PM 2.5. So this is latitude, latitude. Now use the AB line to add a horizontal line at 12. Use this additional uh, line width equal to 2. LT1 line type equal to 2. You happens. So use a different type. Of line. <coughs> okay. Uh, this is a dotted line, line type equal to 2, line width equal to 2, a horizontal line at a value of 12. Okay, see what happens. So set this argument are equal to the pollution region. Okay, we want to split the data set in two colors. So now there's two colors. We need a latitude. So can we figure out which color is east, which is west? See what is high greater than 50 and the low less than 25. Okay, latitude and the longitude. Latitude is latitude uh, on the in the US. <coughs> uh, in the US there are uh, Alaskans, there are the uh, Floridas that is on the west side. So the west side has a larger range, larger range. So those ones who have a larger range should be on the west side. So the larger range is the red color. So the red color should be the on the west side. 
east or west has the extreme north and the south, north and south, north and south latitude. Uh, that should be the west side, right? Should be the west side. Alaska and uh, and Florida. Okay, as before, I be like to add a horizontal line. Use two additional arguments, right? With okay. Look at that. Okay, we see that <clears throat> many countries above the healthy standard by the EPA. By the EPA, there's many. And the majority is actually below. So which region east or west is worse? Okay, we have to find out east or west, which one is worse. Let's plot two scatter to uh, distinguish the region. Okay, again, <clears throat> this time we split the entire uh, canvas you know, for plot into two. So there will be one row, two columns. So we split the graph into two parts, left side and right side. So, okay. First, get the plot. We want to plot the latitude and the PM 2.5 for the west. Okay. <coughs> west, subset, region, west. Now, now I'll plot it. Use plot west latitude, latitude west PM 2.5, then main equal to west, the title equal to west. Okay, we see the first plot, scatter plot of uh, west. Then we'll do the same thing for the east. Change the west stream to east. So this is the east. So then this is the east. So you see the west latitude spans from 20 to 60, east countries uh, latitude span from uh, 25 to 45, which is narrow, narrow. So see how I took care of the details for you. Right? So I actually automatically pick up the scales of the x uh, variable and y variable. Look that there are more dirty countries in the east, but the extreme dirty country greater than 15 in the west. So those ones above 12 are those countries considered as a little bit dirty. So in the east, the majority. But in the west, there's less. If you draw a line, horizontal line to 12, there's less countries above 12. But some of them are extremely uh, polluted, so like this country. Okay, let's summarize and review. Which of the following character ex uh, characterize the exploratory uh, plots? Quick and dead, quick and dirty, slow and steady, slow and clean. I think it should be quick, quick and uh, dirty. Yeah. Dirty means the information that's provided is gross. Yeah. It's not extremely detailed, so which country in the US is particularly dirty, then we haven't zoomed into that, but overall we get a feeling of okay, based on region, which country, uh, which side, which region is more polluted. True or false, plot lets you summarize the data, usually graphical, and highlight any broad features. Yeah, it's broad features. Conclude that you are all okay. <laughs> no. Not to do, conclude that you are always right. So I wish I can be always right, but the thing is not. Ex uh, not to do, right? Then explore basic questions and hypotheses, perhaps rule them out. Yes, suggest modeling strategies for the next step. So, from the scatter plot and many different plots, we, we want to see okay, what the next step? Do we need to uh, exclude the outliers? Is there any uh, transformation that we need to do?